guys. Today we're at Woods Friendly Garden with Rascal Apiary. We're gonna go get into a couple of hives today. We're looking at five hives. Just gonna check them out, see if there's any honey to harvest, and just the general state of the bees. So, let's go. first hive of Woods Friendly Garden and we're going to take out the frame. Once you see the frame I want you to pause the video and then write in the comments what you see on this frame. Can you identify everything? What about this? Oh yeah, Ooh. man look at that. Oh man, it's lame. Wall to wall. Oh you definitely have to catch that one. Is it wall to wall on this? Mm -hmm. It's always good to take out one frame so that you can move the other frames around in the hive box. We like to put our frames in a nucleus hive and cover it so that they're back in the dark. But if you got one of these cool frame rests, put it on there. As you can tell on this frame, this is frame number two, there's a lot of drones on here. And in the beginning of spring, that's great because you can spread your genetics throughout the area you're in. But at this point, coming into the summer, you have to start looking at this and wonder how much Varroa your hives have, and this is a perfect time to start testing. And the Woods family have a beautifully laying queen. She's got brood everywhere. Go to rascalapiary.com for beekeeping lessons. I want you to look real close here. You can see the queen, yes, but look at that bee right next to her. Can you find the Varroa on her back? She's just sitting there. Go into the comments and give me a timestamp and where you saw this bee that has the Varroa. Now the queen, she's just walking around, sticking her head in the cells. Typically they use the front two legs and they'll measure the size of the cell so she can determine what kind of egg to lay in there. You'll notice that some cells are larger than others. In this case, we're seeing all worker cells. You can kind of tell with the experienced eye. And there's the queen right there. Follow Woods Friendly Garden at wfcgarden.org. This frame is doing pretty good. See this nice group pattern here. So with your beetle gel here, mm -hmm. I would recommend refilling the oil. Okay. Um, you want to have probably a, a, about a quarter of an inch. So when they do come in, they, they get stuck in that oil, they can't come back out. Because right now, how you have it, mm -hmm. they can come in and then just walk right back out. Okay, so we'll, take, we'll go ahead and fix that as we are in the hive now. Yeah. And I'll go grab. Pearls of wisdom. Drink a lot of water before you come out into the bee yard because you're going to sweat a lot. <laughs> Wear a hat to catch some of the sweat from dripping in your eyes. Still won't get it all. So actually, the, uh, the frames with the labels on yeah. it was actually the first time I ever started beekeeping. Nice. Yep. So we um, we have our queen marking pins because okay we started well we marked our queens years ago we don't anymore but um, to pay attention to how old the frames are okay we'll just put the queen year dot okay on the top of the frame okay. So just something we do. Yeah, you know, clean your dot. That totally works, but yeah, so like this year's white, so we can just put a white okay. dot on the top of the frame and we know we put it in in 21. Mm -hmm. Since we since we do like you do, where it's like. All right, we're at Woods Friendly Garden right now, helping him out with his apiary. And we just got into this hive where we found the queen, she's laying well. We found a swarm cell, queen cell, which means it has a larva in it. So what we're going to do is, it's a pretty small colony still right now, but they're doing really well. So we're gonna take half the bees and put them in 
this half, which is a nuke size, and take the other half and put them over here. So the queen, queen cell is gonna go here. The current queen is gonna go on this side. So we have an entrance on this side for the old queen, so they'll reorient. And then on the front here is another entrance. So all of the foragers will come in here to this side. Follow Woods Friendly Garden over on his YouTube channel. On this side, right? Okay. And then the, uh, the nurse bees will stay with her. Right. And then foragers will go on to the other side, so we'll make sure we have enough bees in there. And then, yep, she's right here. Put her right there. Okay. So we know she's already in there. In fact, I'm going to move her towards the middle that way. She doesn't have a chance to climb over. Okay. And this one is a little bit of brood and just a little more brood and resources. Okay. So we'll leave this one here so they have, um, she has some more room to lay. They need resources over there. Okay. Can we get this? Yeah. And definitely a lot of it they want to pick down there. Yes, I do. So I'm there? assuming they don't like this particular queen, perhaps. Well, it's yeah, that is a super seizure cell orientation. So that's a little bizarre. But she's mm -hmm. laying really well. Mm -hmm. I I would suggest mm -hmm. keeping this one here. Okay. That way they have a double chance. Okay. Of uh, being successful. Being, yeah, being successful. And I will go ahead and get some sugar water made up for them and put it on the top lid for them. Yep, and there's another one. And this one is capped. So it's a good thing that uh, we saw this today because that means if they were going to swarm, it's going to be very, very soon. So. I want to take this moment to thank Woods Friendly Garden for opening up their home and their apiary to us and letting us take a look at their hives and help them out. And just being overall great people, we had a lot of fun. And just remember guys, beekeepers need to work together to create great things. And it's just like festooning here. If we work together, we're going to pull some wax. All right. Thank you for watching and remember to hit like. Follow Woods Friendly Garden over on his YouTube channel.